I have been quite surprised. It's a worry, but I'd still be surprised. Well, welcome back to the uh, Dota Modern Poets Spring Rising Extravaganza. And um, I don't have to do a five minute introduction to each poet this time, so um, take it as read, they're all just fab. Um, yes. So, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you all. So, anyway, here he is again, the wonderful P.R. Murray. Hooray. Okay, uh, this is an untrue story. <coughs> Drama, 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 in the laundry room, drama, man came in, put a baby in the spin dryer, heard the little bleedy yell till each other, the lid woman there said, yeah, you can't put that in there, it's not for him, and since for clothes, it won't work, he's one of those, he had a doubt, took it out, put it in his pocket, and then he shamefaced faced out, laundry lady sat on stairs, sets her eyes, and buff on her, I told him, yes, I said, you was there, and so was Apple Codra, then they're much too brittle, but she stops and starts to whistle, no, Codra, then, Codra, those must be foreign, I suppose, everybody knows if you put them in a spin dryer, instead of by a gas fire, babies get morose. <laughs> This is uh, slightly truer, but not entirely so, as you will see. I am an eagle. I live in a zoo. I don't like it much, and neither would you. I sat on my perch. I glared down at crowds. I dived in my mind between dreamed clouds. I sat on my perch. I stared at the wall, and I saw a scar, sky with no bars at all. I sat on my perch. I shat on the floor. I tried to imagine what it feels like to soar. Then God of Eagles made good luck for me. One unlocked moment, enough to fly free. Life without a cage was too short and sweet. Wide London sky, killed dogs to eat. I sat in my tree, didn't know what to feel. Kept dreaming of bars and regular meals. I sat in my tree, alone with the sky. I saw a warm cage, I'd no wish to fly. I sat in my tree. I knew I was tamed, made no move to escape when the dark gun was raised. I am an eagle. I live in a zoo. I don't like it much. Neither would you. Ooh. Okay, so now we move on to the easy target of advertising. <laughs> The people who wish to make you buy are scabless, clean and smiling, without discharges, problems or pimples. They sell you frozen slices from their nice lives. They do things for their nice husbands. They provide things for their nice wives. And by some unseen process, reproduce perfect model children <laughs> who smilingly consume bowls of cereal and sometimes have plasters caringly stuck on them. Their parents travel every evening on deserted roads, in new cars, across the High Sierra, to dinner parties where character actors recommend brands of sherry to them. <laughs> they can go on holiday whenever they want. They use soft toilet paper, but they never shit. And the worst thing that can ever happen to them is a headache which pills instantly kill. I wish my life could be like theirs, but no matter how many things I buy, I've still got discharges, problems, pimples, and an egg stain on my shirt. And I always keep falling over whenever I try to run down a beach in slow motion. The things I buy get tarnished by my life. Perhaps it's because I pay for them. The people in the adverts never do. <laughs> Okay, perhaps this man was attracted by an advert, who knows. <clears throat> There's someone running for a train as the train moves off down the track. Someone doesn't stop because he's come so far. He's got to catch the train. There's no turning back. And inside the passengers sit back. As the train gathers speed, rolling right on track, now they know they're safe on the train. It should be in on time, in comfortable seats. They start to relax. Someone makes a jump. A desperate dive. He might not get inside, but at least he'll get on board. If he can hang on as it rolls down the track, if he can find a handle or something to grip, with hands or feet or arms, and fight off the cramp, then the train will take him too. The train will take him far. The train will make him safe. The train will make him rich, or stop him being poor, if he doesn't fall away as the train rolls away, so that he rolls away as he falls onto the track. If he doesn't die right there as the passengers relax, if he falls off the train and he doesn't break his back, he'll get back up again and run for another train unless he changes the plan and adopts a different strategy in regard to the logistics of being a refugee 